Welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm Alien Rose, and I totally didn't play some game without hitting record because I would I I, I would never do anything like that. <laughs> anyway, back to Avernum. Okay, um, we need to talk about that alien slime. I I, I mean, we need to talk about that alien slime. That just, that creature did not look like how it was supposed to. I, it didn't match the description, at least not in my opinion. I mean, the XL one looked different, the Aver the first Avernum remake looked different, and then this is the one in this game, and I don't know, it's like he updated the character model but not the description. It just doesn't work for me. But... Whatever. Back to the game. Okay, so we've... I said I, I, I might have accidentally played a little bit being forgot to hit record, but it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. So. Get the... There we go. <laughs> Alright, so. Let me tell you. Where are we? Where? Well, we're in Avernum. Um, actually, we are. We are back in the Avernum Caves. Uh... I'll explain. No, there's too much. I'll sum up. We, I have reported back to Steve. I have gotten some new spells. And we just found out that the uh, mark in the slime area was the mark of Erica, uh, no, the Archmage Erica. Okay, the Archmage Erica is a character from the previous games. She is the most powerful mage pretty much in the world. And she's the one who, in the first game, um, orchestrates the whole let's go kill the Emperor and get revenge thing. She is also the reason that the Exiles, Exiles Avernites, whatever, I like the word Exiles better, um, why they survive. She helped create the magics that sustain life within the caves. So she, she's an important character, and... <clears throat> foreshadowing. She plays a role in this game, too. So, we're off to talk to her and, you know, just say, hey, we found this. What's up with that? So that's where we are. And I need to click into the game here. There we go. Alright, where am I? Where'd I go? Where'd I come from? Where'd I go? Where'd my party go? Cotton Eye Joe. There we are. Okay. Anyway, so we're up here, and we're heading over to her tower. Yeah, if you don't know that you're welcome, you're not. Proceed at your own. Actually, she never does actually welcome us to the tower, yet she lets us in. Thank God. Oh, what the hell are those things? Are those like the her golems? Golems? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Animated statues. You know, maybe I'll just stick with that word. The Arch Encantatrix. Erica, heroine of Avernum, scourge of the Empire. Has noted you're coming. And she has decided that she will meet with you. Yay. Ah, <sighs> so let's head in. Ooh, at least it's a different looking tower. You know, in all the other games, all towers all shared the same look. This doesn't look like the same tower that the bandits were in that we fought earlier. So that's that's nice. I, I like it when there's differences. I like it when there's... to make something stand out. Wait, did that just use the dungeon music? Why? This is a friendly area. Sort of. Wait. Wait, what the fuck? That's Erica? Hold on a mo. Get up here. Look at that! She shares the exact same sprite as my character! Why did she 
they share the exact same sprite as my character? I, I d Did I not just say how I liked making things unique? This is one of the most important characters from the whole series, and she just she just looks like everybody else? What the fuck? I probably blowing out the audio on this. I'm sorry, new little microphone, but what the fuck? Okay. It's okay. It's just a game. It's just a game. I'm only five minutes in this recording, and I'm already broken. I... No. I, 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 I need a minute. Looking over these videos, I've noticed that I've been really shitting on this game, and... I don't want to. I really, really don't want to. I guess I have to explain something. This XL3... XL3 came out um, when I was in middle school. Um, middle school, for me, was hell. I... didn't have a lot of friends, and I've always been a little socially awkward always off, always the weird one. And middle school was a time when kids were at their meanest. And I was picked on, teased a lot. It, it was not a good time for me. We actually moved, built a house, and moved just so I could go to another school system for high school, because it, 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 it just didn't go well for me. I, I really, I really fell into a good depression in middle school, to the point where I had, I don't want to say suicidal thoughts, but not pleasant ones. But that's when I found XL3, and that's when I found a lot of my games, actually. And... But XL3 was the first, and it... It saved me. It, it was my safe place to go. It was some place where I was happy. I enjoyed what I was doing. It was something I understood. And I feel like I'm also just kind of being an unpleasable fan base by these little changes. But I, I, I really liked the first Avernum remake. It, I mean, I had a few issues with some of the changes, but they were really minor. I, I thought, all in all, it was a good expansion of the world. It fleshed out a few more things. I really like the Avram remake. The first one. This one is just... Bizarre. But... The f first game means so much to me that I... I, I... I... I feel like I should be giving this more of a chance than I am. I, I mean... <laughs> wow, I, I, I don't even really know where I'm going with this at this point. It's just that... I want to push on through. All my life, I have been known for not finishing what I've started. And I want to finish this game. 
even if it kills me. But good God, there may be some moments of this where I just need to stop and go, what, what have you done? What have you done to my baby? And then go cry in the shower, but, um... Just, just, just to add to today, I drove past my house that I lived in when I was in middle school. And the only other thing that I enjoyed, that, other than my computer games when I lived there, was there was an expanse of wood, big, big wooded area just past the houses that you could wander through and get lost in. And th there was a group of kids that had built bike trails for the whole thing. So there were these dirt paths all through it. And it was just, it was awesome. It was just a cool place to hide. And I would go there and I'd, me and my overactive imagination and have adventures and stuff. Mostly pretend like I was in an, an, an exile playing, playing the game in the real world. And, but I drove by there today and it's all gone. All the trees are gone. There's there's just another housing addition there now. So I probably started this game in a bad headspace and then got blindsided by my Erica twin. This was this video wasn't supposed to turn out this way. I I I I apologize. Um I'll I'll get back to this. I promise I'll get back to this, but Wow. 5 minutes. 5 minutes in and it broke me. Why? I mean, obviously, why? It's meaningful to me. Okay, at this point, I'm just rambling. I'm just rambling at this point. I, I need to go. I need to have some lunch. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm going to go eat. I'm going to clear my head. Maybe watch a Jacksepticeye video. And clear my head. And we'll try again. Does that sound all peachy keen to everybody? Great, because it sounds great to me. I'm Alien Rose. I don't know what the hell just happened in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!